good morning friends i am dr m sandil kumar today we'll see about the contents under the topic plane curves for the subject engineering graphics conics conics is the locus of a point which moves in such a way that the distance from a fixed point is always in a constant ratio with its perpendicular distance from a fixed straight line here the ab is the fixed straight line and the fixed point is f so uh, take for example the ellipse is our object the p point moves on this ellipse if it moves it should uh, maintain the constant ratio such that fb by pq is always a constant so that is the definition for the conics the focus the fixed point is called the focus and denoted as f so this point f is nothing but the focus directrix the fixed line it's a straight line is called the directrix the line ab which is magenta in color axis the line perpendicular to the directrix and passing through the focus is called the axis denoted as line ce the green line ce is nothing but the axis you see this green line ce is perpendicular to ab and is passing through the fixed point f eccentricity the constant ratio is called the eccentricity and is denoted as small e here the eccentricity e is equal to fb by pq fp by pq in the case of ellipse for the parabola fp by pq for the hyperbola fp by pq so it is constant or fd by dc fd this d for ellipse by dc or f d for a parabola by dc for hyperbola f d by dc vertex the point of intersection of the conic section with the axis is called the vertex the vertex d is here for the ellipse in the case of parabola this is the point d in the case of hyperbola this is point d let us see about the different uh, types of uh, profiles that we get A either ellipse or parabola or hyperbola depending upon the eccentricity value case 1 if the eccentricity is less than 1 then the curve obtained is ellipse take for example this ellipse the ratio f p by p q it is quite evident f p is smaller the distance of f p is smaller than the distance of p q in the case of ellipse so that is why f p by p q is less than 1 then the profile that you get will be an ellipse case 2 if the eccentricity is equal to 1 then the curve obtained is parabola take for example this profile the parabola the eccentricity value is the ratio of fp by pq in the case of parabola the eccentricity is exactly equal to 1 that is fp is equal to pq so fp divided by pq is equal to 1 case 3 if the eccentricity is greater than 1 then the curve obtained is hyperbola so this is hyperbola so you see the ratio f p by p q you see it is quite evident that the length of f p is greater than the length of p q so f b by p q is greater than 1 thank you